Once again, I haven't said this in a while. Thank you for clicking on my face. I do appreciate it. Before we talk about Jordan Peele's third, I want to give some love to the sponsor of this video. This video is brought to you by Displate. Displate offers high quality prints on metal with a myriad of options available. Video games, comic books, comic book movies. I love Night Trap. And I bring up those examples because they're entertainment because that's kind of what I talk about here. But they don't just have entertainment. They have some other amazing prints of life, nature, astronomy, and hanging them, really simple. Just wipe down the wall, hang the magnet. Magnet sticks to the wall, the print sticks to the magnet. As Simple as that. And if and when you want to change it out, maybe it's Halloween, tis the season, as easy as changing out a magnet on the fridge. So click the link below and get 25% off of one or two prints, or 29% off of three or more prints. That is for a limited time, so best not to wait too long. And now, nope. Also, yeah, you saw that wall correctly. VHS ain't dead while I'm breathing. Also, this is a spoiler-free review. No spoilers in here. So Nope is Jordan Peele's third film. It stars Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer. They play brother and sister. They own this horse ranch. Then they see something in the sky and they want to catch it on video. And from there, it just escalates to <laughs> what's been aptly described as spectacle. And funny enough, I, I feel like I'm... This, this movie's two films. Well, first the cast. I thought the cast in this movie was great. Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer's the standout. She's energetic, she's charismatic. Daniel Kaluuya is the more reserved, stoic type. But Kiki Palmer, undeniably has an energy to her that is just engaging. She's also the one the humor in this movie comes from. This movie's funnier than Get Out and Us, which in 2022, you're like, oh yeah, humor in the movie. I know it's, it's one of those things where you knuckle up, you're like, what kind? Not the kind of humor that compromises any of the tension. I didn't feel the humor and the tension were at war with each other at all. It just felt natural. I give props for that. But also they're not the only two. There are a couple support characters I didn't see in the trailers at all. I feel like the newer trailers at a point, I was like, well, ah, this trailer shows too much. I don't want to see. Maybe it showed them in there and I missed them. Also, if you feel like that trailer showed too much, it really didn't. There's still a lot you don't know about the movie, just letting you know. It's when the four of them are working together, that dynamic is when this movie is at its height. Also, movie's not a horror movie. I know I've seen people say, oh, horror movie. It's a horror movie. It's not a horror movie. I'm just letting you know. I feel like that's really what I do here is I tell you my opinion about a movie, but really the deeper quest of the channels, when something's misbranded, I can let you know so you actually know what you're in for. The movie's not a horror. Thriller, yes, I would call it a thriller. There's some great scenes of tension in here. Horror, mm, which is a bummer because at CinemaCon, Jordan Peele came out and he was talking about the movies he makes, he makes to recapture that feeling that he would get and that reaction the audience would give when he would watch horror movies. He was talking about how people would scream at the screen, nope, get out, things like that. Actually, there is one scene that did get that reaction from the audience. I saw it in a pretty packed auditorium. There was one scene where people start screaming the Jordan Peele movie titles at the screen. They're like, nope, get out. It was intense. And it's the scene that actually made the hair in the back of my neck stand up. It was actually kind of incredible. I loved the feeling. I loved the audience reaction. It was a great time. And then that scene ends and it's kind of irrelevant and it never happens again. Not sure if Jordan Peele's trying to defy expectations or just trolling, because obviously he knows what the audience wants. He's like, yeah, I know you want that, but I'm gonna give you something else. And when I talk about this movie felt like two movies, that's a nice way of saying the first half of this movie I found to be boring. Second half is actually pretty enthralling. Now, when a movie does that, I try to see that first hour, that first half, as character development. But an hour into the movie, you know exactly what you knew from the second scene in the movie. Kiki Palmer being energetic, engaging, Daniel Kaluuya being stoic. A couple of character moments or things otherwise shine through, yeah, sure. In terms of how it plays out, if you say, oh hey, half the movie I found boring, the other half of the movie I found good, that only really works if the first half is the boring half. If a movie starts out with the first hour being great and then the second hour isn't, it feels like a nosedive. But if a movie's slow at first and then builds to something, it, it's a climb. And and the audience leaves the movie theater with that feeling and that's absolutely what happens with this. You give the first hour of this movie a pass because the second hour of the movie picks up and it's actually pretty cool. I will say there was also this side arc backstory with this chimp that I don't feel really connected with the film itself. Which is funny, I can see how it ties in with one of the themes of the movie. But I think that theme would land just as well as it did in the movie without the chimp backstory side art. So it's easy for me to look at that and be like, oh, that's where you could have shaved some time. That would have saved. And if I'm being honest, this movie does remind me of another movie. I mean, most movies are like, oh, it's like a mix between that movie and that movie. But this is a very famous movie just wearing a UFO mask. I get that there's a fine line between homage and ripoff. 
you can decide wherever that line is for yourself. In the end, Nope is one of those movies we've all been there with a movie experience like this, where you watch a movie and the movie ends off in a way where the last act is actually exciting. And it leaves you with that feeling of, yeah, that was fun. And then on your drive home, maybe it's your drive home, maybe you get home and you get yourself a snack. Point is you start thinking about it more and the negatives start stacking. And in a world where the internet seems to be love it all or hate it all, this is one of those movies that is in line with the other 99% of other things in the world. It's in the middle and it's fine. I enjoyed it just fine. It's a fun spin on the UFO and the farm plot. And I'll say it's worth a watch, no alcohol required. At matinee price, there you go. I feel like matinee used to be cheaper. What is it, 15 bucks for a matinee now? All right, so nope, are you looking forward to it? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.